the Wangiri phone scam, which was named after a Japanese word which easily translates to one ring and cut, involves mobile users receiving mysterious missed calls from a computer. MTC's corporate communications officer, John Ikongo, warned mobile phone users not to return calls to that number as it would result in callers losing large amounts of airtime. Please don't respond because the, fe the very first moment that you redial, you're automatically going to incur a cost in as far as your airtime is concerned because you're dialing an international number. And what's more hurting is that when you dial that number, there's no one on the other end picking up that line. It's simply just a machine answering you. And, and that's literally, that's all, that's all these scams this one. So it, it's, an, it's a spam, literally in the natural sense of the word spamming, and please don't. And, and that's why we, we're cautioning our, our, our customers not to do that. Uh, uh, Wangiri attacks can come in many forms. It can even come in SMS formats where you say, you have won something, please call this number. And you really literally call the number and you find out that well, th there's nothing ongoing there. So if you find that you get a number or, or a strange number is calling you, so what they'll do, they either do two or three ways. They simply call and hang up automatically because it's automated. But the number indicates and shows on your screen and then you eventually is enticed to pick up to pick up and call and dial it back, assuming that maybe it could be just a very important call. So when you dial back, what happens? Surprise, surprise. It's just a voice machine on the other end. Network engineer Ricardo da Fonseca said the Wangiri phone scam has the potential to become a national threat if communication agencies doesn't come up with means to prevent scams of this nature. What happens is calls get made, right? So now, depending on which direction the call is being sent from, um, you, you, you ping on, a, on certain network towers. Now, if these guys have access to you, for example, from your source, if our telecommunications agencies are not um, equipped enough to handle these types of hoax, then yes, I would say they, they, they will lose a lot of money because that's how they get into the system. And once you've got control of a system, you can practically manipulate it whichever way you feel like it. I believe it's a hoax. Uh, we, should be, we haven't faced any of these, these um, threats before. I must say I'm pretty proud, but then if, if this has been circulating quite a numerous amount of times, especially on social media and so forth, it could mean that we're at risk. Uh, it could be the beginning of something new, depending on whether we can back this up professionally as well. Residents are urged not to return calls they are uncertain of and to rather contact their service providers for clarity.